Hey there, this is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. I'm out here today in Canoga Park, which is a little bit north of uh, Woodland Hills in the San Fernando Valley area. It's actually quite a nice neighborhood. This is the first time I'm going to be doing an episode here for you guys in this part of town in Los Angeles because I'm going to be continuing on with my South American food tour, which I started a little while back. This time I'm going to be covering the country cuisine of Chile that not too many people really know about its food. So today I'm curious to try it because I've never had Chilean food as well. So this is going to be my first ever time trying Chilean food. How exciting is that? So I'm here. I just got here right now. I'm in front of the restaurant. So I'm going to go in, try some of that authentic, amazing Chilean food. So stick around to the end of this episode if you want to see what Chilean food looks like especially here in Los Angeles. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to Rockstar Eater by hitting that subscribe button because I release these food episodes on a weekly basis you don't want to miss out on. So hit that subscribe button and continue to watch on as I'll show you this amazing cuisine that you can find in South America. Chilenazo is one of very few Chilean restaurants in Los Angeles. There's not really that many of them, and this one is here in Canoga Park. And it's also one of the most authentic and tastiest Chilean restaurants that you can find in LA. When you walk in here, the first thing you'll notice is that it looks kind of like a, like a little bakery. And that's kind of what it is anyway, since it is like an empanada shop. They sell all these empanadas, which are little meat pies, along with like your breads, and some pastries, desserts, and drinks, and all that good stuff. But then if you look at the counter like above, there's also a menu up there where you can order more of like the heavier um, Chilean foods. So you can take some stuff and take it to go, or you can order something from the menu, sit down, and just relax and have a nice meal, which of course is what I'm gonna be doing today. So right now she's making the bistec a la pobre, which is one of the Chilean foods that I'm gonna be trying today. Okay, it's gonna be cooking some of that eggs. So there's that eggs, that's frying right there. So I got my food and I'm all good to go, seated outside under shade and really nice weather today because it's going to get so much worse this week from what I heard. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I decided to get today. One of the things that's pretty commonplace when you go to Chilean restaurants, especially in Chile, is that they're really heavy on bread from what I heard. So you got to always get the bread that comes out before the meal so that you can kind of munch on it, nibble on it before your main meal and hopefully you won't get too full on it. And I think what I'm going to do is dip it in some of this. This is kind of like a salsa. I guess it's the Chilean version of salsa, which looks very nice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, it's good bread. Mmm. It's like very thick and kind of doughy, but I like it. This is the beef empanada right over here. And one of the things that you'll notice about the empanada is that it's really big. The Chilean empanada is really big. You see my hand right there? That's how big this empanada is. But I'm assuming it's going to be really, really good. It looks really good. I love that crust up here. This is like two different empanadas rolled into one. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, 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 baby, that is good. Mm. You see, it's good because it's uh, it's really like has a nice crusty pie taste on the outside, and then inside you got that really nice ground beef filling. That is delicious. It's like it really touches your soul. This right here, 
This is an empanada, but it's just a really big empanada. So if you like that, then this is the thing you gotta get here. It's actually very popular here. You know, they specialize in making empanadas here, so definitely you gotta get one of these if you're here. This one right here is the pastel de choclo, which is the Chilean corn pie. It's their very famous Chilean corn pie that I guess you can kind of say in some ways is like a shepherd's pie, but it's like a Chilean version. So it has like corn, ground beef, uh, chicken, onions, olives, eggs, you know, all that good stuff in here. Yo, it looks kind of like a lasagna in some ways. Yeah, like the way that they bake this. Okay, anyways, and then it also comes with some of this salad that's like with avocado and some celery. Oh, yeah, this is something that's very new to me. Wow, there's actually more things in here than I thought. Yeah, there's the corn on top, but then once you get inside, that's like a whole like treasure full of food is inside with like the chicken and the beef and everything. Wow. <laughs> that's so interesting because it's like inside you taste the savoriness of the chicken and the ground beef but then you taste the sweetness of the corn that's on the outside so it's like it's sweet and it's savory at the same time wow i just can't believe like how much is actually inside of here like with all the shredded like chicken and the beef and the eggs so you just got like so many different flavors going on here this is like a really nice <clears throat> filling meal right here and this is what's called the humita which is the chilean version of tamale like a chilean corn tamale it's only made out of corn this is so so interesting it definitely does look like a tamale and i'm gonna see in a moment how it tastes different and then we got the chilean style salad right here which is peeled tomatoes and onions, some cilantros, peeled to give it that really amazing fresh uh, fragrant taste to it. Oh yeah, so it's supposed to be eaten together and I heard it's a really fabulous dish. Wow, that is like one really rugged looking corn tamale because usually the tamales that I've had, especially in Mexican restaurants, are like really smooth. This is like very, like if you were gonna go on a bumpy mountain or something like that. Looks wonderful. Well, I like it. It's almost like eating cornbread in some ways. Like cornbread, that's more like a tamale flavor. And then when you add like the tomatoes on top of it, wow, it really just gives it this new, like really, like uh, really refreshing taste to it. Mmm, amazing. The bistec a lo pobre, which literally means like steak of the poor, but it's not a poor man's food. As you can see, it's actually quite a luxurious dish with the rice, the egg, the uh, sirloin steak that's really thin right there, the onions, and then all this French fry that's in the bottom. This kind of reminds me of like lomo saltado, which is that Peruvian dish. If you don't know what it is, you'll see it in one of my future episodes. It looks like a breakfast dish, but I assure you it can be eaten at any time of the day. All right, where should I get started? Maybe what I'll do is cut off some of the steak first and maybe get a little bit of <clears throat> everything if I could. Th yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. Just get some of that steak. Mmm. Wow, that taste is so familiar. Yep. It actually does taste kind of like a Lomo saltado too, the Peruvian food. It's good, I like the steak. I love the sauce along with the fries and the egg, you know, killer combination. I don't know if you've ever had that combination of this, this uh, soy sauce type of a base along with the French fries that's popular like at this restaurant, Chilean food as well as um, Peruvian food, but it has a really unique taste to it. Like when you have that sauce that's over the fries, it really gives the fries a really amazing taste. Like, you know, you would kind of think of not liking fries that are like soggy and with all the sauce on it. But if there's any sauce that you should put over fries to make it soggy, it's definitely sauces like these. Oh man, yeah, you definitely need to get this one. One of the most popular dishes here at Chilinazo. Also one of the most popular dishes 
you can find in Chile as well. It's so big and it can really fill you up. That's, that's the great thing about it. So even if you come here and you just get this one, you'll be so, so satisfied. This is the Churrasco Italiano, and despite the name, it's not Italian whatsoever. The only reason they call it that is because of the color, as you can see. This is like with the bread up here, along with some of that avocado, and got some of the house-made mayo, along with tomatoes and some more of that thin sirloin steak in the bottom, along with some of your fries, which looks so awesome. Oh. Uh, it's like a sandwich with the ingredients, but then, at the same time, it kind of looks like a burger as well. Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. You know, I think this is really good if you really want like a meal on the go. Like something that's really nice and simple. And it is a little bit messy, but then, you know, there's a lot of sauces in here, like the mayonnaise and the avocado. But yeah, you can definitely taste all those things going on in your mouth. The avocado mushiness as well as the tomato, <clears throat> which gives it a little bit of the acidity as well as the thinly sliced sirloin beef. Your perfect Chilean steak sandwich right over here. Now that I've had Chilean food, you know, it's so interesting because it's like I've been to some of these other South American restaurants and I can see how a lot of them are similar, using like similar ingredients and some of the the dishes, the foods have similar names, but the way that it tastes and even the presentation is like so different in every single country. And it's really no different with Chilean food. And I can't really describe like what it's like, but it you can definitely tell it's South American food. And I got a sample of just a bit of a, you know, just everything, which is all really amazing. I mean, it's really a great first impression that I had here, was treated really well. The food was really fresh, a lot of different flavors going on. So if you're in this area in Canoga Park and you want some really authentic, awesome Chilean food, whether you want to sit down and have like a really all out meal or you just want to get some pastries and desserts to go, then this is the place you definitely need to go. Chilenazo in Canoga Park. Can't miss out on it. And of course, like I said, don't forget dessert if you are here because they have so many awesome selections that you just cannot miss out on it. Mm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the show. And if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, then please give me a thumbs up. And also please comment on the section below if you have Chilean food before or you want to recommend any dishes that I didn't try in this episode, then share with all of us. Maybe perhaps next time I go back to a Chilean restaurant, I can try some of your suggestions. And also please subscribe to Rockstar Eater because that's the best way to get these episodes on a weekly basis. Just hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll be getting these rockin' episodes on a weekly basis. I'm headed out of here and I'm gonna be going home right now. So likewise, I hope you have a rockin' day today and that you'll have some of this rockin' Chilean food sometime soon. And also be sure to click on my other videos on the screen so that you can see some of the other South American foods that I've done in Los Angeles to see what other South American country cuisine is like. So click on those videos and I'll see you in the next video.